Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Native, the makers of aluminum-free, paraben-free, vegan and cruelty-free deodorants that work. My husband has been using Native for years now and it is great because he smells great, particularly after exercise. He still smells great. It works for 72 hours and most importantly, it doesn't cause him to break out. And we really appreciate the plastic-free packaging. These are made from paperboard. 90% of it is post-consumer recycled paper. And Native is a proud partner of 1% for the planet, committing 1% of the plastic-free sales to environmental nonprofits. So this is the 2.0 version of the plastic-free packaging. This is the original. My husband, along with 92% of plastic-free users, appreciate the new packaging. He likes the kind of classic shape and the greater surface area in terms of applying the deodorant. The formula is exactly the same. And when you purchase plastic-free, you are saving 37 grams of single-use plastic. Native is also committed to sourcing paper for packaging from responsibly managed forests. The scents that we received this time were the unscented eucalyptus and mint and the charcoal. The charcoal is hands down my husband's favorite. It's the smell that I associate with him with. It is clean, it's fresh, but it is not overpowering. I'm very sensitive to fragrances and this one is so nice. It smells clean and fresh. Here is the new packaging. And the way it works is you push up on this and you can dispense it. The formula is quite nice. It goes on very smoothly. It doesn't feel sticky and it dries quickly. Tap the base and replace the lid. Native has tons of scents to choose from, including their limited edition. Right now they have the summer seasonals, which are inspired by your favorite cocktails. Three plastic free deodorants usually go for $39, but if you use my link and code down below, you can receive them for 26, which is over 33% off. You can also use my code to receive 20% off Native's toothpaste and body washes. Big thanks to Native for sponsoring this video and for allowing me to make better videos for all of you. So today I'm gonna to be tasting this. This is a British Army eight hour single meal. And this was very kindly sent to me by Mick. Thank you so much for sending this to me. He sent this to me a while ago. I found this in my closet in a recess. I'm like, oh my goodness, I never tasted this. This is from 2019 but these rations are made with a super long shelf life and I've tasted very old rations before. I believe it was an 18 year old ration, a 30 year old ration I've tasted. I'll put links to those videos in case you missed them before. They're all in my ration playlist. At this point, I've tasted dozens of rations and I find the international ones most enjoyable because there are products that I'm most unfamiliar with. So it's really fun to explore the world through an international ration. So this is a British army ration. This, as it says, is an eight hour ration, a single meal for a soldier. And these are relatively new. I've tried British rations before and I'll put a link again down below. That one that I tried before was a 24 hour ration. This is menu number nine, right there. By the way, in case you're curious, I made this shirt at my son's birthday party. We had a great tie dye party. It was so much fun. We did it last year. He wanted to do it again this year and so much fun. So wearing my tie dye today. That's everything inside. We have a crushed energy drink, another crushed energy drink. So this looks like it includes a little feedback and prize entry forms. Pasta bolognese right there. That's our main entree. Tropical mix. Oat biscuit. Wow, this includes a flameless ration heater. Look at that. I've never used a flameless ration heater from the UK before. Super. Try that. We have a cereal bar. Raisins, sultanas, and currant fruit mix. Another snack. And this looks like a sundries bag right here. This is nice because it's in a resealable plastic bag. I believe this is also called the accessories pack in the American version. Some tissues, wipes, three one tea, and three in one. A bit of gum and a very sturdy spoon. Actually, that's a spork. Very rigid plastic. Nice, with a big scoop. Let's go ahead and start with the flameless ration heater. Now this is a chemical 
reaction that causes heat so that we can warm up our main entrees. It works just like the US version, 12 minutes. So while this is heating, we'll taste some other things. So there's also a sticker here, which we're gonna remove. So now we're going to open the bag, place the meal inside, then we're gonna add water to this fill line right down here. So drop the meal in, fold it over, and then we're gonna use this little piece of tape they gave us, place that on top. Give that a shake. Usually this reaction is immediate and this begins to puff up. It releases a very distinctive smell and, and none of that is happening at the moment. But I will let it sit over here in case it decides to do something. Oh, that's disappointing. Why don't we have a snack while we let it do its thing or not? Let's make our energy drink. This looks like a brand of energy drink, fruit flavored energy drink. Got a little bit crush on root, but I'm gonna add some of that to our glass and some water. Hmm, it smells kind of fruity. Not really specifically any kind of fruit that I can recognize. And it is not full of dyes. It's not some kind of alarming green color or anything and it is dissolving pretty readily in this cold water. Now I would imagine an electric light drink would be very important out in the field, working hard and lots of sweating, so you have to replace those fluids and salts. So there's my electrolyte drink, tan in color. And with that, let's have raisins, sultanas, and currants. Sultanas, I believe, are just a larger version of raisins, a different kind of raisin, I believe. Oh yes, yes indeed. So it's basically like a raisin blend. Quite a very generous serving of different kinds of raisins. Sultanas are these great big ones right here. And raisins, which are kind of the medium sized ones. And then we have currants, which are these really tiny ones right here. You can find those in scones. And then in here we have an oat biscuit. I thought our oat biscuit would just be one biscuit, but in fact, there are several. Look at that. And they're all intact. So we have five biscuits, or what we might call cookies. Well, these, these look much hardier. You can see the little flecks of oat in there. And then we also have a tropical fruit and nut mix as well. So let's see what those are like. Oh, friends! This is happening. Just very delayed. Oh my gosh, yes, this is exciting. I thought this was going to be a dud and it is heating up. <gasps> yes. Ration. It is happening. So I have an open window here. Make sure you have plenty of good ventilation and this indeed is getting hot. Yes, I'm so excited. Back to the fruit, tropical fruit nut mix. Let's just dump those out into here. And that looks like a good trail mix. Got banana, chips, maybe some papaya, pineapple, peanuts, raisins. There we go. Our little panoply of snacks. Wow, look at this ration. Yes, I doubted you and you came through. Thank you, Flamel Ration Hita. So since we've got biscuits, I think a hot beverage would be nice. So let's go ahead and have our coffee. Doesn't look like it's a tea bag, but it is instant coffee. Yes, there it is. That's what it looks like inside, a powder. And I'm going to dump it right into here and pour the hot water in. And this is called three in one coffee because I believe the three in one means that it has the sugar and the milk in it already. And indeed it has the color of milk. It smells great. It smells like truck stop coffee. Cheers. Mm. A little watery and it tastes of dry milk powder and truck stop coffee. 
and it's great in that sense. It reminds me of camping. It's a little bit sweet. Great way to start your day, <laughs> especially if you're on the move, right? So with that, let's try our oat cookie. So snap it. Pretty crisp cookie. Hmm. 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 I like that. It's an oatmeal cookie. Crisp, sweet, dry. Let's dip it in some coffee because I am a dunker. Mmm. Mm. Cookies and hot coffee, hot tea, the best, the best. Now let's try our selection of raisins. Now I admit I am not a huge fan of raisins, but they are a great snack. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm, these are pretty good. Very soft, tender, juicy raisins, but all different kinds. This is a tropical trail mix, and let's give that a go. Let's take a whole pinch. I would say the base is mostly peanuts, but then you've got some dried fruit in there to give it a little bit of flavor and some variety. So you got a little bit of coconut, shredded, some pineapple. Mmm. I think that one's my favorite. Raisins, which aren't exactly tropical, but again, add some fruity sweetness and some variety variety in terms of texture. Next, make some tea and have it with our cereal bar. Like the coffee, everything is all together in one powder. This I find interesting. In my last UK ration, there were Thai food tea bags, and this time the tea is in a powder form. We will add our hot water. Give that a little stir. Look at the beautiful color of that tea. I love black tea with milk. I gotta drink it right now. Hmm, that's actually quite nice. I kind of like the fact that you don't have to deal with a tea bag. Really a nice, strong black tea flavor with that same reconstituted dry milk powder flavor, but in this context, it works really well and just slightly sweetened. Well, sweetened. I usually don't have either milk or sugar in my black tea, but I quite like it when I do. Sometimes milk gives me gas, you know, so I avoid it. You know, it makes your tea feel plush and rich and just smooth and lovely. And the sugar just makes it feel more dessert-like. You know, for an instant powder, not bad. Now let's try our cereal bar. Ooh, cereal bar looks a lot like a granola bar. And it is a soft granola bar. It smells very nice. It smells kind of caramelly, maybe mapley. Smells nice. All right, let's give it a go. Hmm, a taste of oats, kind of caramel sweetness. There's a little bit of puffed rice cereal in there for some crunch and some raisins in there as well. This is very nice. I would have one of these that has the same texture as a, say, Quaker chewy granola bar, but not nearly as sweet. And the flavor is really pleasant. I really like that kind of caramelized, caramelly flavor. Mmm, that's probably treacle, right? Mm-hmm, <laughs> my British friends. Alrighty, now let's go ahead and give our entree a taste. This is our pasta bolognese. It feels very warm. Here it is. Ah, look at that. Very hearty looking pasta. I'm going to use my wet wipes. I probably should have used these in the beginning, but Ooh, look at the size of the wet wipe. Pretty big. And the material is nice and stretchy, so you don't tear it. It's not like you're wiping with one of those kind of thin napkins. Very resilient. I will also have a tissue on hand. This is very multi-purpose. We can use this to wipe our face or other regions. <laughs> Pasta bolognese with minced beef and tomato sauce. Alrighty, let's give that a taste of the takimasu. Not half bad. The first thing I notice is that the tomato sauce is very acidic, nice and tangy. It's not too sweet. Here in the States, many pre-made canned pastas, I'm thinking of in particular, tend to be very sweet. The Chef Boyardee's, those kinds of pre-made pastas are typically targeted towards children. So it makes sense they would make them really sweet. This one is not, it's tangy. 
The pasta is similar to a Chef Boyardee in the sense that it's very soft. It is mushy. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is not over salty. It's well seasoned. There's little bits of minced beef in there, ground beef, and it's not bad. Now let's wash it down with the electrolyte drink. Mm. Hey, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. It has the viscosity of an electrolyte drink. It's a little bit kind of thickened, a little bit sweet, definitely flavored. I can't quite place the flavor. It's kind of like a tropical punch, maybe a little bit like a, a guava flavor or something. And it doesn't have a artificial sweetener aftertaste. Some of these drinks do that and I don't really like them. Not a huge fan of artificial sweeteners because it leaves a flavor in my mouth and I don't know if it's just my own sensitivity or what. Stevia does that for me as well, but this does not. So like it. Mm -hmm. The color is very reminiscent of apple juice, uh, but it doesn't taste like apple juice. The last thing we have is this, and this is a little piece of gum. So we'll chew this to cleanse our palate. It is peppermint gum, spearmint gum. Mm -hmm. Sugar-free with sodium stearate. I'm imagining, oh, there were two in there. <laughs> Just dropped the other one. Medium sodium stearate is a good way to clean your teeth. Maybe there's some dental hygiene in this. It's got that crunchy shell on the outside. The gum is pretty resilient, kind of a tough chew, but really nice to cleanse the palate with a nice bite of spearmint after having all those little snacks. Alrighty, my lovely, thanks so much for watching and big thanks to Native for sponsoring this video. Ordinarily, three plastic-free deodorants go for $39, but if you use my link and code down below, you can receive them for $26. That is over 33% off. You can also use my code to receive 20% off Native body washes and toothpaste. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye!